Hi, I'm Matt Hagney from Exapta Solutions. Even if you've chosen to apply your liquids through the seed tube guard, such as our Valiant here, we still very strongly recommend that you run a Keaton seed firmer with that, uh, regardless of the type of closing wheel you're running. Even OEM, even some of the brands that say you don't necessarily need a Keaton. In no-till, yes, you do need a Keaton. You need that seed to soil contact down there in the bottom of the furrow where the seed is, rather than trying to rely on pressure from the soil surface downward. Uh, this becomes really evident if you don't have any rain soon after seeding. Uh, to get uniform emergence and maximum yield potential, all the seeds need to be tucked into the bottom of the furrow at the same depth in the same amount of moisture, which means truly embedding them in the surrounding soil so that they can all draw moisture equally easily. Now some people uh, uh, have some issues or fear of Keaton's accumulating mud or drum sticking as we call it back here which is a result of a couple of things it can be from too much soil disturbance ahead of the row unit uh, but more commonly the problem is just not enough pressure on the Keaton itself to hold it in the ground and wipe itself clean against the furrow sidewalls and that's where Exapta's mojo wire comes in where we can apply three to five times more pressure than what the original Keaton has on it. And that's sufficient to keep it clean. Now, applying liquids ahead of the Keaton, there is some additional worry about gunk accumulating on the bottom, depending on what products you're applying, how sticky they are, and your soil types. They're can sometimes be some issues even though a great many people never have any problem. Now our mojo wire does help a lot with that but even then there are some times where you can't completely eliminate that problem and that's where uh, our position is still that the very best way to apply liquids in furrow is either with a Keaton with liquid capability or a Flowrite.